purpose of my presence here is to communicate with you an exciting new call we have developed at AIC and is in our work program of 2023, which is at the accelerator level. This call is a very focused one and is a challenge-based call about cancer treatment. We, uh, before almost telling you, sharing with you some details and some, some uh, really hints and uh, why we believe this call is impactful, promising, will be impactful in the end, a very promising one, I would like to, uh, I would like to share with you uh, how we work, how we think and how we apply strategic intelligence at the IC. What you see in this slide is the strategy that we have in health and biotechnology. I am Jordanis Arzimanoglu, I'm the program manager for health and biotechnology. And uh, we are, I've been working at the IC for two years and, and uh, we have developed a strategy in, in this area. We start from the broad area and then we go to uh, narrow down the areas based on information we get from universities about new breakthrough research and also from the industry. Uh, which is uh, some of the strongest proprietary and we have people on the ground and we have experts that are helping us to gather all this information. So we go from sector to topic. That's the importance, as narrow as possible. And you see here examples of what we have developed over the last two years in the cell and gene therapy and in, in the synthetic biology. If, um, if I wanted to say in a few words what we have done in one of those areas, cell and gene therapy, it's shown on this slide. We have done focused events, we have uh, uh, communicated the way uh, we think about this area to different targeted audiences. We have already issued two calls and uh, we have published in the official journal of the American side of cell and gene therapy about this uh, particular area and even in a more narrow uh, um, approach where we, where we have focused so far, for instance, in the cell therapy manufacturing or in the vectors that are used in this area. What you see at the end of this uh, snake uh, illustration is that we are now at the level where we do uh, the, uh, what we call proactive management of, of a particular uh, or specific health area. And uh, in this slide, in this, in this uh, photo, you can see the people that gather in Brussels after our invitation to develop the strategy for this particular uh, uh, group for this particular area in, uh, in cell manufacturing that I described previously. So these are the groups, this is the outcome, these are the PIs, or the outcome of a challenge call. Challenge call is a different call than the open calls. So EIC, the European Innovation Council, unlike other European institutions, it focuses more and more on the challenge-based calls. There is also, this is the, our approach at the portfolio level, but we are applying strategic intelligence and we're supporting our beneficiaries also on an individual basis. What does it mean is what you see um, on this slide. One company funded by us, uh, we became the catalyst and we brought this company to the attention of the Gates Foundation and they received follow-on funding, uh, another 3 million from Gates in, in the record time of 1.5 months. This is something that doesn't usually happen and we're very excited about that. Eight meetings were held uh, in in, uh, in uh, 1.5 months ended up in, in this investment. And Gates does a lot of due diligence and we feel more confident because we have applied due diligence and, and we crossed our paths and we support the same company. So we have the support at the portfolio level, which is the outcome of a challenge-based call, and we have uh, the support at the, uh, at the single beneficiary level, which is what you see here. And um, let me now turn and uh, uh, switch to uh, today's main, uh, main reason for being here, which is the call that we have issued for 2023. So this is about uh, biomarker guided cancer treatment. This is in line with the precision oncology, which is one of the, uh, uh, one of the major trends in, in, in health. And we are particularly focusing on uh, being able to have to, uh, we're seeking for proposals that will uh, g give us new insights in how to be able to identify who is more likely to benefit for, from a cancer treatment, to be able to identify who is more likely to recare after a cancer treatment, and who is more uh, likely to develop side effects. And finally, of course, we want insights on how to better and more effectively uh, monitor disease progression. This is not, uh, this is not focusing on just uh, funding research for consortia. This is focusing to gather a group of biotechs that are working in this area. And why is that important? This is important because 
the model that we envisage for Europe, which is consistent and in line with what you hear from politicians, is to be able to compete and sustain globally on specific very niche areas. So this call was designed based on this, following this logic and uh, uh, based on this rationale. A very focused approach, guided cancer treatment, uh, precision uh, oncology, and the outcome, six, seven, eight biotechs, working in this area intensely, can become the basis of a critical mass that would, that, uh, uh, would create and would strengthen Europe in this particular area. That's the way to go, and we, we strongly believe that we can compete and sustain internationally only in, in highly selected uh, areas. So this is why we're doing this challenge call, and this is why we're using the strategic intelligence. And this is the model that day by day is proven, and uh, we are very excited about that.